Well, in school you may have measured several angles using the protractor. This would have given you a certain feel for angles. Today we will experience the joy of measuring angles in another way. With the help of a carpenter, we have made several different types of triangles using waste wood. These triangles, they look like wedges of wood. Uh, some are right angles, some are scalene, some are a bit skewed. Now here we take two right angle triangles and we bring their hypotenuses together. When we assemble triangle 1 and 2, well, they join together to make a rectangle where all the four corners are right angles. Now we can take another pair. In this pair, we can see that one angle, one triangle has a right angle, the other is scalene. And so you make another kind of quadrilateral. This is once again, you can see uh, two right angle triangles. When they are joined, they make a rectangle, but you could of course assemble them in another orientation to make a tall isosceles triangle. You could arrange them differently to make another isosceles triangle. Here you can see these two slant sides are equal. You could superimpose one triangle on the other and you can see they match each other exactly. So all their sides and angles are equal. Here you can see two right angle triangles and you can assemble them to make a parallelogram where the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Well, here is a right angle triangle and a scalene triangle. You can assemble them to make a right angle quadrilateral. You could, of course, assemble them into another orientation. Now, there is no angle which is a right angle, but it's still a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure. The idea is that with the help of wooden wedges, you could get a very good feel for angles. You could try the same experiment using the plastic pieces of the tangram.